For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of salvation for everyone who believes. Romans 1.16 Every year, our youth dedicates their time to put together a program for children the ages of 10 to 15. And every year, we have a different theme. This year's theme is Unashamed. Every morning, we start the day off bright and early with some exercises. I learned that you shouldn't be ashamed of your Christianity and share the gospel with every living Christian, like it says in the Bible. I am listening. I can do this on the beginning of the week, the kids are divided into several different teams. Throughout the week, they competed against each other to earn points. The team with the most points at the end of the week wins prizes for that team. During these games, the kids bond with each other and they learn how important teamwork is. And if there's one thing No reason for me to be ashamed of Jesus because Jesus was never ashamed of me, so why should I? Everybody talents, including me, and you should express them. After team games, we then all head to the pavilion where our volunteers have prepared a delicious lunch. When the kids are done eating, the boys and girls are split up and they both head to a Bible study. I believe you are with me even now, even now. Till the ocean runs dry, my God is my provider. Though my heart in me fail, your love. Our leaders have prepared lessons that focus on Christian aspects of our lives with topics including talents, teamwork, and prayer. This week I learned that there are many examples of people in the Bible that were unashamed of preaching the gospel.
We then challenge our kids to take what they've learned and incorporate it throughout the week through activities like soccer or relay races or even baking. As I look upon your majesty You're scared to be embarrassed of. Like Peter, once when he went to the synagogue, people are asking, oh, is that one of Jesus' followers? And then Peter denied his name three times. So he was ashamed after that. this week was going to the waterfall and having a Bible study up there. We learned about Stephen and how he wasn't ashamed and he was a good role model. Higher and higher. One of the toughest challenges this year was our annual obstacle course which was inspired by Apostle Paul when he challenged us to finish the race. Now don't be fooled, these kids might make it look easy, but trust me, the obstacle course is one of the most challenging things you'll ever go through. Pushing you to the limit, the course is designed to test your strength, endurance, and most importantly, your speed. Now the quicker you finish, the better, because everyone wants to win, but only the three fastest runners win a prize. My favorite part about camp was making cupcakes as a team, because Working as a team means a lot. Holding me, your love is holding me now. Closer, your heart is calling me. Your heart is calling me now. Higher. playing games because then we got to learn teamwork. My favorite part from this week was the evening services because I like the songs that we sang and the skits that we had were entertaining. My favorite part of this camp is that we had a huge soccer game. In that soccer game, I was in David Matsuk's team. I scored five goals on Vlad Kozak and Paul Potocki.
while there are a lot of planned activities for the teens, we also allow plenty of room for free time, where the teens, well, they pretty much do whatever they want. After dinner, we all gather together for our evening service for an experience of fellowship, learning, and amazing worship. This year, we learn how important it is to be unashamed for Christ. Apostle Paul says this, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of salvation for everyone who believes. This year we learn how important it is to be unashamed for Jesus. The mission of Christ is this, to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every living creature. You are. 